this is a fourth manicure no i think it's a fourth one yes okay so great progress great progress we took some pictures and definitely i see progress so now the issue is here some of these pieces of hard skin are really tempting to pick and this is what happened it happens so i suggest to the client to get the tweezerman kit and when this happens just wash your hands clip it gently so this doesn't happen so i'll show you how to do this pull the skin and squeeze it okay and let go squeeze it let go don't don't pull it I know when sometimes I work very fast, it looks like I'm pulling, but I'm just working really, really fast. Okay, so this is what you would do. So normally, obviously, I don't recommend using these to cut the skin, but when this happens, you just, you have to do it sometimes because otherwise this is going to drive you crazy. So, and this I'm going to do at the end because this area is very, very sensitive right now. It's not open, but it's, you know, almost there. So I'm going to do the full manicure first and then clip it at the, at the last minute. So there is one here too. So again, I'm going to show you, just pull the skin back. There you go. So this is basically like an emergency situation. This is not how you deal with it. When this happens, that just means that the skin is still dry. Okay, so I'm going to squeeze it. Okay, let it go, squeeze it, let it go. Because sometimes if you pull it and it's still attached, you're going to pull the skin. So this means that the skin is still drying. And we were just talking with the client and she was saying that she uses sometimes the hand sanitizers, which, you know, are drying out the skin. Okay, I'm going to do this one as well. So make sure you don't press too hard because then you're going to catch the living skin. You just want to get the flake. This one is actually quite small. Okay, there you go. See? So the... Um, the hand sanitizers are really drying and i always recommend for people to wash their hands that's much more effective if possible and then just not touch your face this one has grown so nicely so we're going to do our regular gentle manicure with the cuticle remover So the progress depends on the person. It depends obviously how, how they are with their home care, it depends on their history. If, you know, if someone has been cutting that skin or that skin is really hard, it's going to take a little bit longer than for others. But as long as there is progress, um, it's all good. This is incredible. And the nails are nice and strong, like really, really good. Okay, so we're gonna shape them. Okay, so we're gonna leave them a little bit longer, so I'm not gonna take too much off because now they're more even. So now we can leave it. So I'm gonna go underneath that corner a little bit. And I find too that wearing even one coat of clear nail polish um, makes the nails less wide, a little bit more narrow, a little bit more curved. And I think that also happens with the shaping, but it definitely, the, the shape of the nail changes. Wow. Beautiful. Yeah, this one was quite short, but it's growing out really, really well. So I'm just going to correct the shape a little bit.
so now I'm going to just push the living skin and that's what I teach uh, people to do when um, they're just maintaining their nails at home so just to push back that skin and actually this is a different tool that I'm using but I usually show how to do this with the with a wooden stick I'll show you you can do this I usually leave clients with with this tool Actually, in, this, in the meantime, we're just going to put some cuticle remover. Okay, I'm going to leave this on as I'm working on the other hand. So I show clients how to do this part and do, doing it sideways, it's much more safe because this you can actually really um, hurt yourself. So just sideways is safer and just very gently because I find some people, um, they are doing this a little bit too aggressively and then that area gets uh, inflamed and then you don't have good results. So just very gently so that skin is not stuck to the nail. And you don't have to do it all the way back. Just nudge it as far as it goes. And that's it. Bit by bit, it's going to improve. leave this for a minute okay so now we have to remember this rinse this and I guess maybe you don't have to rinse it right away you can work on a cuticle when this is not rinsed but I find I can see better when I don't have the product on the on the nail or on the skin so if you are working slower then I suggest doing one hand at a time So now it's whatever's left on the nail plate. We're going to remove. By the way, these tools that I'm using are very, very old. I think they're like 15 years old. And I absolutely love them, but I can't get them anymore. So these ones, I don't even remember where I got. And the reason why I like them is because they are not too sharp. Like the other tools that you see that look very, very similar are very, very sharp and the angle is slightly different. This is really good. And the reason why I sometimes show different tools is to show you how to work with those different tools because not, of, not everyone has access to, to the ones that I show so you can see how maybe I work with different, different tools. Yeah, the other ones that are available, they're so sharp, you can like slice yourself with this. Not safe. I mean, I can work with them, but I would not be, I would not feel comfortable to recommend this to a general public. Okay. On the other hand. And you know, guys, I really suggest taking pictures because very often progress can be missed and you might feel like you are not making progress. But then when you look at the pictures, you are clearly seeing improvement. And as long as you're seeing improvement, you're doing things correctly. This is a very good way to judge how you're doing. Because the nails should improve gradually.
it's normal. For some people it takes longer, for some people it doesn't take as long. It is what it is. But as long as you're seeing progress, it's all good. Okay, so if you're doing your nails yourself, you can actually treat the sides a little bit with a file. But I'm going to do this with electric file because it's much more precise. So you see, you're gonna grab the edge of the file here and just kind of very, very gently soften this area. So when you're doing this yourself, you're gonna pull the skin back, place it here. Actually, I have a short about this so i can link it below again it's not going to be as perfect as the electric file but it's actually it's not bad it's quite effective okay so i'm going to do the same with the electric file surface is much smaller so I can fit this bit into the uh, area here again you don't want to overdo it because that will create inflammation and we don't want that Often, this is like a catch 22. Very often, this happens because people pick and they pick because they have hard skin. So, that habit will take a while to correct. And the, the more you take care of that skin, the more gentle you your approach is, the better the skin is going to be. And then, there's not going to be um, the temptation to pick. And like I said, I'm going to list a link below to that little kit that I suggest having. I have it in my bag because I know how tempting it is to pick something. I used to bite my nails, so I know, I know how it is. So much better. And I can feel that skin is much softer as well. It's not as hard, it's much more elastic. And as we know, the skin that's very protected is going to be softer, right? So the skin on our body that is protected, it's usually much, much softer. And the skin that's, that is subjected to pressure or friction, it's usually much harder, right? So we want to protect that skin in order to soften it, not to file it to high heaven. Initially, that seems to work, but over time, it's going to create a bigger problem.
So this is alcohol. By the way, I get a lot of questions or comments sometimes asking why people's nails are dirty. <laughs> and very often, like my nails, they are not dirty actually. It's just when you are using a lot of oil, it is absolutely normal for the free edge to be different in color. So um, it's completely normal to have a variation in color. It's not necessarily dirt. You can see it on my nails that they're different. And sometimes cleaning too vigorously underneath the nails is, especially with sharp tools, is not a good idea. It's, it's best to do that with a soft brush after a shower or something, but not necessarily with sharp tools because you can hurt the hypodicum area, which is a seal. So we have two seals um, around the nail. One is the cuticle area. The cuticle actually forms a seal. It's like a grout in between the living skin. I'll explain. So this is the living skin here. Like It's like a fold. Then you have a nail plate and the cuticle is in between and it creates like a, like a seal, like a grout. So this is first seal. And then the other seal is the hyponychium underneath. So we don't want to break either of them because that can cause, it's there for a reason to protect the nails from infections. Thank you.